Hi, this is Mark McLaught from Building Aspirations, and I'm with you, giving you a quick tip in the Social Media Marketing Success Roadmap. And I'm going to talk specifically about LinkedIn. And I'm really focused on having this be an evergreen product for you, which means one year, two year, five years down the line, as long as you continue to have access to this, this provides you value. And everything changes all the time with software. So this is not a specific LinkedIn training, right? We're, we're going for the overall strategy here. I want you to appreciate that LinkedIn is a conversation in a boardroom. A conversation in a boardroom. What that means is that you have a different level of conversation that you might have in some other, some other platforms. Facebook, for example. You can be casual, you can be cavalier in Facebook. You probably need to have a higher level, more formal, more strategic oriented conversation on LinkedIn. So you're lo looking for strategic partners, you're looking for, for distribution, you're looking for um, influencers on LinkedIn. It's very, very connection oriented. Now, to truly understand this and appreciate you, you I want to walk you through the evolution of LinkedIn a little bit. It originally was created and 100% solely focused on job searching. Basically, recruiters and placement individuals used it as an opportunity to review your online profile or your resume to place you in a job. And they might get a significant fee for that placement. Now, that is still there and that's, that's part of, of LinkedIn. But you know, other people have saw, oh my gosh, it's really about the connection. It's really about an individual connecting with another individual. And I'm a huge fan of that. I mean, you can take my name and you can Google or go to Amazon.com, not Google, Amazon.com, and look for my name and you'll find my networking book. I literally wrote a book called 50 Tips for Effective Networking. And that's a lot about what LinkedIn is. It's connecting with different level people. Now, key things. Let me Some key things here. One, you're going to have an impressive looking profile. What should be in your profile? Well, think backwards. How do you want people to know who you are? If I don't know who you are personally, and I look at your LinkedIn profile, how do I see you? Are you a professional in sales? Are you a professional in customer service? Are you associated with this company? You know, what is that? The headshot should be professional looking, and I should have a reasonable opportunity to connect with you. Okay, if you just put all the stuff there or have a nickname or something or I can't find you, I can't have a conversation with you or some other interchange with you, then um, it kind of defeats the purpose, right? Because we're networking, we're connecting with people, okay? Now, it drives traffic to your business. Is someone going to see your LinkedIn profile, call you, immediately do business with you? Mm, probably not. But you know what? This is kind of the introduction for you. Now you need to continue the conversation after that. So whatever your strategy is, of whatever your multi-touch multi marketing strategy is after that, that's what you need to implement after LinkedIn. A few, a few advanced tips for LinkedIn, but be careful because some of the stuff changes, okay? Now one is you have the opportunity to, to be an influencer in groups. What are groups within LinkedIn? Well, groups are subsets of LinkedIn. And remember, this is not social. Okay, so if there's a baseball group, it's for baseball management. It's not for people to chat about baseball because it's business oriented. It's more strategic. It's a conversation in a boardroom. So you're not going to chat about the ball scores. You're going to chat. You're going to have a discussion about how you make more fans come to the game. How do you increase food and beverage revenue at the game? How to maximize your parking revenue at the game? Do you see? They're more strategic oriented baseball conversations. So really to, to dominate, I don't want to say dominate, to improve your status in LinkedIn is to be a thought leader in those organizations that are appropriate for you and your business. So ask thought provoking questions, lead the conversation. So if I go to a specific group once a month and you're always leading these conversations, guess what? That sets something in my brain that you are the expert in baseball marketing, that you are the expert in insurance, that you are the expert in 
capital allocations, whatever that the group is about. LinkedIn is a conversation in a boardroom. This has been Mark McLaught with a quick tip in your social media marketing success roadmap. Thanks for listening. I will see you on the next video.